Do you know what weighs as much as a Toyota Corolla? It spins at thousands of RPM. And could one Utah hopes one day live in your backyard and change the energy equation for the entire planet? The last 100 years, there's been a 100x growth in energy demand. But if you look at the next 100 years, it'll be a 1,000x growth. What weighs as much as a Toyota Corolla, spins faster than a jet engine turbine, and could, if a company in Utah has its way, one day sit quietly in your backyard, changing the entire energy equation of the planet? Sounds impossible, doesn't it? Yet that's the exact promise being whispered in engineering circles and buried inside research papers you'll never see on the evening news. For the last hundred years, the world's energy demand has exploded 100-fold. Over the next century, that growth could reach a thousand-fold, driven by electric vehicles, AI data centers, and the global race to electrify everything, HVAC, industry, and homes. But behind the noise of the energy crisis, there's a quieter mission emerging. A mission to give ordinary people their own renewable power source, small enough to fit in a backyard, but strong enough to power the future. Imagine a silent metal box the size of an air conditioner sitting behind your house. It hums softly, day and night. No fuel, no smoke, no sunlight needed. It just spins, and it never stops. It could power your home, your car, maybe even your entire neighborhood. It sounds like science fiction, but what if it's real? What if governments and energy giants have known for years that such a thing exists and have spent fortunes to bury it? Today, we dig into that secret, the hidden story of the flywheel-free energy generator. A technology NASA has tested, China is already building. A rebel company called Taurus Energy claims it can power the world, cleanly, silently, and endlessly. If it works, it would be nothing short of a revolution. So why does nobody talk about it? Why do the words flywheel-free energy vanish from mainstream headlines the moment they appear? What's everyone so afraid of? Let's go back to the beginning. Since the Industrial Revolution, one truth has shaped every human life. Energy costs money. Whether from oil rigs, coal mines, or solar panels, we're taught to pay for every watt. Entire economies are built on that idea. But what if it's wrong? What if energy doesn't have to cost anything? Picture a device that draws its power not from burning or reacting, but from motion itself. Like a potter's wheel, once you kick it, it spins on its own, long after your foot leaves the pedal. A wheel that stores energy in its movement and can release it again and again, almost forever. That's the principle of the flywheel generator. A massive disk of steel or carbon fiber spinning at thousands of revolutions per minute. Theoretically, it's just energy storage, charge it, discharge it. But rumors say something else. That in the right configuration, this spinning mass becomes more than a battery. It becomes a gateway to free, limitless energy. It sounds insane until you learn that NASA has quietly worked on such machines for decades. They call them mechanical batteries. In labs in Cleveland and Maryland, engineers built levitating flywheels sealed in vacuum chambers, capable of spinning for years with almost zero energy loss. They use them in satellites for stability and energy supply. Those same principles could, if scaled up, power homes or cities. And here's where the story twists. NASA acknowledges these systems store energy efficiently, but not that they generate it. Yet, several insiders claim the line between storage and generation blurred in classified experiments. Projects so secret they never appeared in public reports. Could NASA's mechanical battery already have achieved over unity, producing more energy than it consumes? Officially, that's impossible. But unofficially, no one is talking. Meanwhile, halfway across the world, China made a startling announcement. In September 2024, it unveiled the world's largest flywheel energy facility, a 30 megawatt installation in Shangxi province. Buried underground, 120 magnetic levitation flywheels spin in perfect synchronization, storing energy for the national grid. The official line is simple, stabilize renewables. But think about it, 30 megawatts of perfectly balanced rotation sustained almost indefinitely. Why would China pour billions into this if it's just an experiment? 
Some engineers whisper that this public project masks something deeper. Behind those thick concrete walls, the Chinese are testing what the West refuses to acknowledge, a near limitless power source based on flywheel resonance. In other words, free energy, hidden in plain sight. Across the Pacific, things look eerily quiet. The US once led the world in flywheel research. Now, most projects are shelved or starved of funding. Yet, in small windowless labs and startup garages, something stirs. The name whispered among insiders, Taurus Energy. Officially, Taurus builds microgrid energy systems. Unofficially, it might be building the first home-scale free energy generator. Their prototype, about the size of a household AC unit, claims to make every home its own power plant. The company calls it a mini power station. Silent, self-contained, always on. Their CEO, Nate Walkingshaw, describes it not as a battery, but as a living engine, one that never stops generating electricity. He writes about it openly in tech blogs, almost daring people to notice. Our unit, he said, is dead silent and never stops producing power. Those aren't words a cautious engineer would use. They're the words of someone who's seen something that shouldn't exist. In 2024, Time magazine named Taurus's flywheel system one of the best inventions of the year. But what no one realized is that they might have accidentally given free energy its first mainstream award. Still, Taurus doesn't sell to homeowners. Their marketing hides behind phrases like peak shaving and backup power. They pitch to businesses, not families. And when journalists ask about perpetual operation or anomalous efficiency, the answers become vague. Why the secrecy? Why act like a revolution is just a side project? Some believe Taurus is under immense pressure from investors, governments, maybe even fossil fuel giants, to keep the true nature of their device hidden. In private demos, engineers claim the prototype ran entire houses for months without needing a recharge. Instruments showed minimal draw from the grid, even under heavy use. One insider recalled a test during a snowy Utah winter where the system powered a workshop non-stop for six weeks, while input readings barely moved. When asked to explain, Taurus engineers say only one thing. It's not magic, it's physics. So what is physics? Inside the Taurus unit and in every modern flywheel generator, you'll find the same key elements. A rotor, thick, heavy, precision balanced metal spinning at incredible speed. Magnetic bearings that levitate it in place so it never touches anything. A vacuum chamber that removes air resistance and a motor generator system that both charges and extracts power. Feed a little energy and it spins. Let it spin, it gives power back. Martyr the control circuits, the less loss between those two states. Theoretically, the perfect flywheel would never slow down. It would store motion itself as pure lossless energy. Physics says perpetual motion is impossible, but engineers say we've never built the perfect machine. In modern tests, flywheels lose only a fraction of a percent of energy per hour. With magnetically suspended rotors and vacuum chambers, friction and air resistance nearly vanish. Under those conditions, it's hard to tell where storage ends and generation begins. If you could recover 99.999% of what you put in, how different is that from infinite power? And here's the chilling part. This isn't theory anymore. NASA's designs, China's mega project, and Taurus's backyard power unit all point to one thing. Someone already figured out how to get that close. Imagine what would happen if that knowledge went public. No more electric bills, no oil profits, no grid monopolies. Billions of dollars in fossil fuel infrastructure were rendered obsolete overnight. Every home is a power plant. Every nation is energy independent. That's not just a scientific breakthrough, it's a global power shift. Now the pieces fall into place. The silence, the half-truths, the vanished prototypes. The reason some inventors die in obscurity, while others sell out to defense contractors. If free energy is real, even partially real, it's the most dangerous discovery in history. And yet every clue leads back to the same spinning wheel. NASA calls it a mechanical battery. China calls it a stabilization system. Taurus calls it a mini power station. But behind the labels, the physics is the same. A massive rotor storing motion with almost no loss, producing power on demand, potentially forever. 
If all of three are converging on the same technology, maybe we're not looking at a coincidence. Maybe we're witnessing the beginning of a revolution, one too dangerous to announce. So next time you see a quiet metal box humming in a field, or a research headline about flywheel storage, remember this story. Maybe it's just a smart battery. Or maybe it's the first spark of a world where energy is finally free, and the people who built it are fighting to keep it that way. Because in a world addicted to control, true independence doesn't come from politics or power grids. It comes from something much simpler, a wheel. Spinning in silence, waiting for us to notice.